Hey guys, it's Megan and it is Friday afternoon during my lunch break and we finally are getting some kind of sunshine. <laughs> it's like very, very cloudy and dreary, but thought I would take advantage of a little bit of natural light because I just put on this lipstick. It's actually a lipstick and a lip gloss and I love it. And ColourPop did like a clearance type of event and so I bet all of these things are like limited edition and it will be hard to get your hands on them but if they're still available I'll link them below and so the lipstick is a um, velvet blur lipstick and the color is super bloom and this packaging is just stunning it has like a nice weight to it and the color is this incredible like neon coral do you guys remember like years ago that Maybelline collection of bright lipsticks and there was one like this like shocking coral or something it's a very similar color to this but it's like the texture is kind of I don't want to say dry but it was like kind of matte going on because it has that blurred type of look but the color is stunning and no doubt I have them on my Invisalign tray I'm still wearing the Invisalign tray that I have been wearing for like four weeks because I'm still waiting for my retainer. It's driving me crazy, but um, what can you do? And then on top of it, because I wanted to try this out, I got the Frozen 2 lip gloss in Mythic Journey. And I wanted this when it came out, but I like couldn't justify it. But the packaging is just so gorgeous. And this was the one from Elsa's like line. So I just put some on the back of my hand and then applied it. And it is so like shimmery, a little bit gritty, not gonna lie, but it is so awesome. And I just prefer a glossy lip for the most part. So that is that. And I filmed a Chanel haul today. So mostly pretty much everything on my face is Chanel. That's probably already up. And I'm wearing one of my favorite American Eagle turtleneck sweatshirt thingies. And I'm actually expecting an American Eagle order to come hopefully today or hopefully this weekend. Shipping is so messed up, I know. <laughs> so I just hope I get it sometime soon. But yeah, that'll be fun to get. I ordered a new pair of leggings and some of their body suits, which I have wanted to try. So I just wanted to say hey in the natural light. And I still have quite a few hours left of work. But next week we have off off for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I kind of kind of am trying to like get ahead since I won't be in on Monday. So yeah, just wanted to say hey, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I got a fun package in the mail this week from Look Fantastic, and this was sent to me for PR, and it's the Slip Anti-Aging, Anti-Sleep Crease, Anti-Bedhead Ultimate Beauty Sleep Collection. And it comes in this really sleek box that is like magnetic, which I think is really cool. And it comes with a few different things from Slip. So I've used pretty much all of them. I have the pillowcase on my pillow. And so it has Slip like embroidered into it. And I have like a Slip or a Silk pillowcase that I've had for years. Um, but what I really like about this one is that it zippers. I don't know what side. It actually zippers on this side. Um, and so my pillow is a standard pillow and it just zips up perfectly and it's so nice. So then it won't like slip off of your, um, pillow, of course. So I am getting ready to read. So I have my pillows all set up, but it comes with that pillowcase. It comes with a really nice silk sleep mask that I'm probably going to use tomorrow to sleep in. So I'm going to take that out. And then it comes with a scr scrunchie set. It comes with two of these thin ones. The other one is in my bathroom, but these are their like slim um, scrunchie. And then I have the big one on my wrist and I've been wearing this a ton and it is so, so nice. Like 
I doubt you would be able to really tell, but that other silk scrunchie I got on Amazon from Lily Silk, it's like too tight. It's not like this, how it's really like stretchy and just, there's more silk to this, I feel like, I'm not sure. But I just like how this one um, is stretchier and it's just nicer when I'm wearing it. So it comes with a nice like grouping of products. This would make an amazing gift, a great like treat yourself thing. I feel like this would be such a nice like housewarming gift, bachelorette party, bridal shower, like new parent, um, just like a great gift for anyone really. So I think that this is just really awesome and I feel very lucky to have received it in PR. But like I said, I'm getting ready to read, so I always prop up all my pillows. I started reading this book the other night. I don't know, I think it was two nights ago. And it's The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. And I had seen this cover so much, like right when it came out, it was like, they were always promoting this book on like sites that I would frequent for like looking for books. And then when Caitlin had like a friend Zoom call thing over the holidays. One of her friends and one of our mutual friends recommended this to me. And she was like, this is the best book I read in 2020. And so I was like, okay, I have got to check this out. Especially since I had already like seen it before. And so I'm about 84 pages in and whew, it is definitely really good. It's spooky for sure. Like it's like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it yet, but it's kind of like a thriller slash horror movie type of premise. And it seems like it could give me nightmares depending on how it goes, just because I'm not like I read crazy books like about like murder or like things that aren't like fun and happy and stuff. But then when it comes to like ghosts or like haunted houses or like technology like taking over and like oh, I just hate that kind of stuff. So I just have a different sense of what's scary to me than what might be scary to other people to read. Like my sister does not understand how I read all my books about like murder and stuff like that and my parents also think I'm crazy. But this is more like spooky scary and I'm not always the like best person I guess to read spooky stuff because it really like gets to me but so far I really enjoy it and I just know that I can't read like a really spooky part right before bed. Like I have to <laughs> get to a point in the book like I did last night where it's kind of like in the middle like before like after maybe a spooky part but before the next spooky part happens I have to like stop in the middle. Um, I'll never forget in eighth grade I like never watched scary movies growing up. My parents don't like scary movies. Like I never was around anyone that watched scary movies. And in eighth grade, or I get, yeah, I guess it was eighth grade. It, that's when I met one of my best friends, Caitlin. I've known her since eighth grade, which is so cool. Um, and we were at a sleepover at one of our friend's houses. And of course, like you do as a young kid, you want to watch like things that are too old for you. And so she brought the movie Skeleton Key to watch and I was traumatized for life. I literally will never watch that movie again. I don't care if it's not that scary to some people. It was terrifying to me and I was so scared the entire time. <laughs> and then I like forced everyone to watch. I don't know if we watched like The Princess Diaries or something after that, but I needed to watch something happy because I could not sleep. And I'm sure I still didn't sleep very well that night because I was traumatized. I just hate anything with like voodoo or like hauntings that like can't be explained like I like to be able to explain things like even when there's like 
murder or things like that like you can like pinpoint oh's like this person that did it and this is kind of like why and stuff but with like hauntings or like spooky stuff you can't explain it for a fact so <laughs> I just don't like that uncertainty I guess <laughs> but anyway I will keep you guys posted on this and I finished um recursion the other night and it was phenomenal it is definitely not for the faint of heart, I would say. Like, it's very intense, and it definitely has what could be, like, triggering things of, like, the end of the world, um, especially during the time we're living now, where it's, like, we're living through this crazy stuff all the time, and there were definitely, like, disasters and stuff happening in that book, but it, like, there was a resolution in the end, which I really liked, um, and I would say I enjoyed it more than Dark Matter, which I didn't think would be possible, because I really enjoyed that book, um, but Recursion, I just liked the, like, the science and, like, the story behind it, and I really liked the main characters, and just found it to be really, really interesting, like, that author, Blake Crouch, I swear, like, maybe he has a PhD or something in science because I don't know how he, like, knows all that stuff. Even if it's not 100%, like, factual, it's still super impressive that his books are based on, like, science and, like, technology and it's just really cool. So if you're into, like, science, science fiction and, like, a focus on the science and you don't want like really there's like an element of like romance and family but it's not like a huge element to it it's mostly like the drama and like the science fiction and stuff so it's not like an author I could read all the time because it's just very intense and heavy but that's why I think I love a good thriller or like spooky book or like I don't read a lot of romances, but that could be a good like palate cleanser as well. So anyway, I'm going to get into reading this. I'm a little bit nervous because it definitely was getting spookier, but <laughs> I know it's really good from what I heard. So I'll keep you posted. Morning, you guys. I just finished getting ready. I curled my hair and I'm getting hella good at using that Chi Lava Spinning Curl and I think probably next week I'll film a video about like tips and tricks and my updated thoughts but I still love it. So this is like first day curls but this is second day hair. Um, so I did a little dry shampoo but I wanted to show you I updated some of my organization a little bit. I, um, well, my vanity is kind of a mess, but I put this, um, like, drawer thing that I got from Marshalls last week here, and then I moved my jewelry drawers over here. So, I also have my office and Parks and Rec DVDs so I have like all my earrings in this top one and then I have necklaces and this is three units so these three drawers these three three drawers and then these four drawers um and so these have like bracelets and just a bunch of stuff so I put all my things over here I think I'm gonna wear a ring today. Um, I love this Madewell signet ring, so I think I'm gonna wear that. Maybe, oh, my Jenny Bird. I think I'm gonna wear that today. So um, I just moved that over here, and I really, really like this because then it's like near my vanity, but not like on my vanity. So I have my rings on. Love it. And I'm wearing the Chanel Vamp nail polish and the Chanel Intense Caramel double-sided lipstick because I want to see how it does with a mask because I'm going to pick up breakfast and I'm just really curious. So I am going to pick out my perfume for the day which I have over here with my sunglasses which I think I'm just going to wear my big 
oversized sunglasses, but maybe I'll pick out a pair. But today I really want to wear the, um, which one is this? The Kimoji Cherry. I rarely wear this and it's a shame because it's so beautiful. It's like the perfect fruity fall winter scent and oh my god it's so good and I know when I bought this this was kind of hard to find so if it's available I will link it below um mm, yeah it is so pretty it definitely has like that cherry scent but not like medicinal it's just very very pretty I love it so Hmm. My vibe today is kind of like casual, but I might put, ooh, I might do my leather or faux leather jacket from Express on top of this because I always love pairing like a hoodie with something more like elevated. So what sunglasses goes with this vibe? Definitely my big oversized ones could work. Um, if I wanted to go more like sophisticated, I would wear my charge -its. Oh yeah, that's a vibe. Um, I don't know if that's my vibe today necessarily. I could also do, you could obviously wear whatever you want, but I love having a vibe. So I could wear my, ooh, I think I'm gonna wear my Gucci like wayfarers i think is the kind of sunglasses that this is it's just like very classic kind of like whatever i don't care <laughs> type of vibe with this outfit i feel like and i love that i can push it back into my hair that's a big pro for me so i think this is going to be my outfit of the day and i just have on zella leggings and i'll probably since I'm just running out quickly, I'm just going to put on, like, other boots. But for, like, the full vibe, I feel like my Stuart Weitzman 50-50 would look hella good with this. So, I might have to put those on just to complete the vibe. <laughs> I'm picking up breakfast at McDonald's, and then I'm going to Dunkin' to get iced coffee. And this morning, I took some outfit pictures and selfies. So I'm just gonna go through these and pick the ones that I want to post. And I love on like an iPhone, there's the little heart button. So then it saves it to like a different folder. And then I can go into the app that I use to edit, which is Color Story. And I love this app so much. I've been using this for the past year. And then you can go into like your folders, favorites, and then edit from there. But I pay for like the extra pro version to get all the filters and it is amazing if you post a lot on Instagram. I wore my mask very briefly but none of my lipstick came off and it looks pretty much perfect still. So pretty impressed with these Chanel like long wearing liquid lipstick two-ended thingy with bobbers. <laughs> I'm forcing myself to do some editing before I get to read my book because I stopped reading before it got to the next spookier part because like I said I like to stop in the middle instead of like being scared before I go to sleep. So I'm going to edit the video that I am going to post tomorrow. I filmed a video today so that feels really great and then I will finally get to read and I'm expecting something exciting in the mail today. So I'm like keeping my eye out for our mail lady and yeah so I just want to get this editing done. It's kind of like my chores <laughs> that I just kind of have to do it and then when I'm done with it, I get to do things that I enjoy more. Like editing isn't horrible, but it's definitely not my favorite part of the process because it just takes so long. <laughs> okay, you guys, I got a few boxes that two I know what they are, but one is a mystery. So let's open the ones I know what they are, but it's still gonna be crazy because it's a lot of amazing skincare. I'm so excited. This is a kit from Tata Harper that I was sent for review. So this is a big set of their skincare called the Brighten and Glow Facial. 
and this is their in their at home spa collection oh my god so it comes with a ton of beautiful products in this box so you can keep it all together or you can of course put it in your like setup so we have the bright or the concentrated brightening serum the regenerating cleanser i have always wanted to try this i don't think i ever did back in the day when i used tata harper a lot more the thing i am most excited about using again is their resurfacing mask i used to be obsessed with this and I haven't had it in years. This is one of the products that I feel like has the most like claim to fame from their brand. And then we have a bunch of like their smaller size products like the floral essence, the um, oil cleanser, the um, nutrient face oil, and then some of their eye cream packets. And it also comes with this adorable little brush to apply the mask. And then this one is a similar idea. This is another one of their at-home spa kits. And this one is the Med Spa Facial. So this has a different grouping of products. And I love that it says exactly what to do in each of these pamphlets it tells you how to apply them each step this one comes with the clarifying cleanser and i think this one i actually don't know if these are travel size but they're travel friendly it says because they're um less than like the size that you couldn't take in a carry-on and then this one has the clarifying mask which has ahas and bhas i don't think i ever tried this mask from them and then it has oh my gosh it has a bunch of little size products so we have the resurfacing serum the reparative moisturizer another one of these little mask brushes the nutrient face oil which i had a full size of that before the hydrating floral essence the regenerating cleanser so this is the same as what came in the other kit but this is like the deluxe size and then this one has the eye serum packets so oh my goodness thank you so so much to tata harper for these kits and i can't wait to like do an at-home spa night with these and definitely share them with my mom and stuff so i will link their website down below which is where you can get those exclusive sets and then this box is a mystery to me so i want to dig into this it's very well taped i feel like that's how i am <gasps> oh rachel it's the bts thing oh my gosh so this i got for rachel because we lost one of the dvds from this bts 2019 memories kit and i bought this off of mercari from a really really sweet seller she like sent it out the next day but it's and it, that was like um christmas eve and it just now got here so this is the BTS 2019 Memories, and this is the Blu-ray set. And, oh my gosh, it has, like, some of the photo cards. And I think she just sent these as, like, extras from the BTS world. Um, I don't know if this is, like, a game or something like that. But Rachel will be happy to have some of these. Oh my god, I am so keeping this an RM bookmark. Nam June, marry me, please. So glad that I figured out what this was because I didn't know what this mysterious box was. Now it makes perfect sense. So that is everything I got in the mail today. And I, I basically want to take off my makeup to use all this skincare, but I'm not going to do that, but I'll use it later. <laughs> Rachel and I have been talking about personality tests and I need to redo mine, but we've been laughing about it. But I want to show you my coffee because I finished my iced coffee and then I was like, I want some more. <laughs> so I have my Dunkin' Cup from earlier with the ice in it. And I did one pod of the um, Starbucks Nespresso, um, Starbucks Blonde Espresso. 
And then I did one pump each of the Monine vanilla and salted caramel. That's my favorite combo. And then I have my light cream. I guess that didn't foam up very much. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But that is going to be my little extra bonus coffee for the afternoon. <laughs> for your subbies, um, if they've ever taken the Myers Brig test, like what they got and if they feel like it fits. Cause yeah. I feel like sometimes it feels like it fits, like moms really fit there. <laughs> yes. But sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know if that's me. So yeah. I'm yeah, I want to redo mine because mine is ENFJ-T. And what did you get? I need to look it up. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm surprised I got the E. I-S-F-P. I-S-F-P, dash T. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if all of them have the T, but we did the 16 personalities. Yeah, I feel like that's like their own thing. Yeah. So I took this in 2016, so this might not be accurate, but I got E-N-F-J dash T, and it says that my personality type is the protagonist. Whoa, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> A protagonist ENFJ is a person with the extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging personality traits. These warm, forthright types love helping others and they tend to have strong ideas and values. <laughs> they have like, strong ideas. <laughs> they back their perspective with the creative energy to achieve their goals. Uh, let's see. Protagonists are natural born leaders, full of passion and charisma. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forming around 2% of the population, wow. they are oftentimes our politicians, coaches, teachers. <laughs> I am a future politician. I mean, but that's like always you know, how like you like are so passionate I'm about it. Giving speeches. <laughs> <laughs> um reaching out and inspiring others to achieve and do good in the world with a natural confidence that begets influence. Protagonists take on a great deal of pride and joy in guiding others to work together to improve themselves and their community. And it goes on and on and yeah. on and on. But I would say that's true. Like when I have been able to work with, like help guide people in my career and stuff, like I really take pride in that and want to like help them. And I'm always like, if you need anything, like please always reach out and stuff and always like encouraging them and stuff. So. Watch out, I'm a future politician. Oh my no, god. I do not want to be a politician, but apparently I could be. <laughs> okay, Rachel's gonna read hers. So I'm an ISFP, which is the adventurer. Whoa! An adventurer is a person with the introverted, observant, feeling, and prospecting personality traits. They tend to have open minds approaching life, new experiences, and people with grounded warmth. Their ability to stay in the moment helps them uncover exciting potentials. I feel like I'm not good at staying in the moment, though. Mm. I don't think I'm good at that. So okay. I don't think that's that fits. Um, adventurer personalities are true artists, but not necessarily in the typical sense where they're out painting happy little trees. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob Ross. Ross. Often enough, though, they are perfectly capable of this. Rather, it's that they use aesthetics, design, and even their choices and actions to push the limits of social convention. <laughs> Adventurers enjoy upsetting traditional expectations with experiments in beauty and behavior. Chances are they've expressed more than once the phrase, and tell me if I've ever said this, don't box me in. <laughs> But you like, do surprising things. You do things people wouldn't expect of you. Oh, I would say. Okay. Okay. Then maybe it fits. Like, and you're I an artist that as well. Really fit, but it's like the individual things I feel like fit more because it's mm -hmm. like on the one part you can just see like what introverted means mm. and like that stuff. And so it's like introverted individuals prefer solitary activities and get exhausted by social interaction. They tend to be quite sensitive to external stimulation like sound, sight, or smell. Which I feel like, at least the like solitary activities mm -hmm. is definitely me. Yeah. And then the observant individuals are highly practical, pragmatic, and down to earth. They mm -hmm. tend to have strong habits and focus on what is happening or has already happened. And I feel like that's me. And the feeling. Feeling individuals are sensitive and emotionally expressive. They are more empathetic and less competitive than thinking types and focus on social harmony and cooperation. I feel like that's mm -hmm. really me. That's you. And then prospecting 
or the perceiving um, are very good at improvising and spotting opportunities. They tend to be flexible, relaxed, non-conformists mm -hmm. who prefer keeping their options open. I would say you're flexible and relaxed. Yeah, I feel like that fits. And that's the one where I'm like 51% uh, that, 49% judging. So I feel like it could be either mm -hmm. So, like, those things I feel like do fit. But then the, the full-on explanation. Like, what? <laughs> I feel like the person that wrote that knew one person that fits like, that. Yeah. And then they were like, everyone like this is an artist. I just feel like it's, like, really specific. Yeah. Like, it's very, like, artsy, like, hipstery about, mm -hmm. like, making their own way and like maybe that is who i am and i'm <laughs> boxing myself yeah in. you better know. shed the box around <laughs> yeah, your life like, maybe that's it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know i mean it kind of makes me think of like i feel like i don't fit a leo that well mm. and i feel like these are kind of similar so maybe that is who i really oh, am oh i'm definitely a cancer <laughs> emotional homebody yeah that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool well, I'm glad we are digging into this. And Ooh. also, it's cool. At the bottom of the thing, they show, like, celebrities Ooh. that are that. And Jungkook is what <gasps> I am, which I think is so cool. You are Jungkook. And I love they have him holding, like, a bunny headband. Oh, like, he's like, oh, bunny. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I will take that. that yeah. Same and I think I'm RM. That's so funny. <laughs> those are our favorites. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> I have been reading my book all afternoon and I just got to the biggest bomb drop ever. Oh my God. Um, if you're not into spooky stuff, you can still read this book. And if you like suspense and stuff like I like, you will definitely like this book. And I still have to finish it, but I'm just like reeling right now because I just cannot believe it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, okay, so I have to get back to reading because I have got to finish this tonight and it's already 6.30, so I need to get speed reading if I want to eat dinner, <laughs> but oh my god, you guys, check out this book, check out this book if you like thrillers and suspense, <sighs> wow, 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 if you like, um, Riley Sager books, especially the last time I lied, if you like the show Sharp Objects with Amy Adams, that has some similarities to it. Um, I just think you would like this book. And it definitely shocked me. It kept me on my toes. Like I couldn't stop reading it, so that's a really good sign. And it wasn't like paranormal, which I'm glad. Sorry if that's kind of a spoiler, but I, probably would have not enjoyed it as much if it if it was so I just want to reassure you it's more of like a thriller and suspense than like horror or anything like that so oh my goodness I'm so glad I read that I read that in just a few days so definitely would recommend checking it out tonight I'm gonna try out the brighten and glow radiance facial which I am so, so excited about. And this has the resurfacing mask that I used to use and love. And so it shows you like each step that you have to do and, or that they recommend to do with this kit. And what's cool is that these instructions are also on their website. So if you already have Tata Harper products or like you have some of them and then you can supplement with what you already have, it's like perfect. It says to break down your makeup with the nourishing oil cleanser and then use the regenerating cleanser on dry skin and then put the resurfacing mask on top, which I think is so cool. And it says this is Tata's favorite hack to instantly restore radiance and promote cell renewal. So just that tip of using the regenerating cleanser and then the resurfacing mask like as a dual mask situation is the coolest thing I've ever heard. So I'm going to 
take off my makeup, do the whole shebang, and I'll keep you guys posted as I use these products. So I wash my face, and I did use the oil cleanser, but I use this as basically my second cleanse because I was wearing a full face of makeup today. So I wash my face thoroughly, and now I have the regenerating cleanser, just a thin layer on dry skin. And this has like very, very small, like, exfoliating particles to it so then it says to put the resurfacing mask which oh my god takes me back I used to love this and use this a lot and it says to apply a thick layer with this brush on top of that so that is what we're gonna do and then it says to leave it on for I don't know if it said 15 or 20 minutes um and then rinse so that is what I'm gonna do and I already love this resurfacing mask just by itself and I think the added like layer of the regenerating cleanser will just make it even more like phenomenal and honestly this is like the best mask ever before a special occasion like if you're going to a nice event or you're getting married or you just want to look extra extra nice i've always loved this mask i just haven't had it in a really long time so i'm gonna leave this on and man applying it with that brush definitely makes you feel like you're at the spa like oh i miss getting massages and facials but this is as close as I'm gonna get for now so I'm gonna leave this on and then I'll be back when I remove it I think it's been a little over 15 minutes I was working on my description box for a video I'm posting tomorrow and the mask definitely feels like tighter on my face since it's dried and felt a little tingly like around my mouth area especially so I'm going to rinse this off with water and then we will go on to like the serum and all the other steps so now I have rinsed off the mask and I applied it down my neck and oh that is like the best at the spa when they do it like down your neck and on your chest and I would have done that but I'm filming a video so <laughs> I just did it on my face and my neck and my skin feels so smooth and this mask always gave me such a beautiful like healthy look to my skin and it is like resurfacing so it helps to exfoliate chemically and then using the um, regenerating cleanser with those little particles that like actually physically exfoliated it's gonna really make your face like glow and just be like really nice and fresh so then they have the floral essence that you mist onto your face before we do the serums and everything smells so like natural and this like smells like a bouquet of flowers <laughs> it's so nice and then they have the concentrating brightening serum which is so fancy it comes in this box that you like slide it out and so it says use one to two pumps of this and the eye cream is in this step as well so I think I want to do the eye cream first this is the restorative eye cream and they include a few little packets of this so i don't know if this is one use or yeah this seems like it'll be just enough for one use and i always rub like excess product on the back of my hand and then i'm going to take the concentrated brightening serum let's see how much comes out okay so it's like pretty small pumps and so I'm just going to put this like on my cheeks like concentrate it there the last step in the kit is the um, retinoic nutrient face oil and it's always been so interesting to me that their face oils are in little roller balls. So um, I had a full size of one of their face oils years ago and I didn't love that 
aspect of it. Um, I'll see if I like it better this time, but I wish it was just like in an open jar or like a pump or something like that. But now this is going to lock everything in. Let me make sure it's coming out. That's like the problem I have with this is that I feel like it doesn't come out very well. I don't know. I feel like you have to like put it almost on your hand and then like put it on your face. Yeah, I think that's better to like actually feel like you're applying it. And that is that. So that was the full, what is this called? Brightening and Glow Facial for Daily Radiance Kit. And this is super luxe, super, super nice skincare. Definitely not for just anyone, but for people that really love skincare, especially natural skincare, this is absolutely beautiful. Your skin feels amazing. And since I've had experience with the mask, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. And the tip with the regenerating cleanser, mind blowing to me. So I just wanted to show you it in action. And if you're interested in it, I will have that link down below. Tonight we're making peanut blossoms. Is it peanut blossoms or peanut butter blossoms? I call them peanut butter. Does that say peanut butter? <laughs> it just says peanut blossoms. Well, you know what they are. The peanut butter cookies with the Hershey Kiss on top. So this is our family recipe. Very safely protected in this little sleeve. That's smart. Gigi needs these for the precious thummy recipe and other family heirloom recipes. So mom just prepared the baking sheets and she made the dough. So we're about to get rolling. We're literally about to start rolling the dough. <laughs> so we have the granulated sugar. These are gonna be one teaspoon each. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just use normal spoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would have taken it very literally, Amelia Bedelia style. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. And then you just roll them in there before you place them on the sheet. Yep. And do you like smush it down or anything? Nope. Leave it okay. Circle. Sweet! Okay, so these have been in for eight minutes and now mom is putting in the Hershey Kiss and then we're going to put it back in the oven for like three and a half minutes? Four minutes? Three and a half. Three and a half. So, let the games begin. <laughs> Rachel's like, what? <laughs> I always have to have an ending <laughs> statement. <laughs> so <laughs> that you have to like say You're like the reporter. <laughs> So Rachel got a cool thing from Amazon. Welcome to her store. <laughs> They're Korean peach gummies. I've had ones like by this brand before that I really, really liked. So I don't know if they're the same, but I think they are. So I'm hoping they'll be as good as I remember. I bet they will. And we've just been talking about our personality tests all night. We've and... been talking about for like hours. <laughs> I know, I didn't realize how late it was. <laughs> I am just about to go to bed and this is my hair from today. I had it pulled back a lot and when I go to bed I always put my hair when I have it curled um, in a scrunchie and this is the big scrunchie from the slip set that I showed you like earlier in this vlog and I just take my hair not really like trying to disturb the curls at all and then I just twirl it up into a bun and what I really like about this particular scrunchie is that one it's silk so that's supposed to help with your hair to not like be staticky and all those things but it's like looser so it's not like cramming the curls um like that happens sometimes with other um scrunchies that I use so this one is just kind of like the perfect one to pull my hair up at night I just love it and I feel like just kind of taking the rest of the weekend off from filming um so that is what I'm going to do but I think I filmed enough to 
have a nice full vlog for you guys for today and I hope you enjoyed seeing some different random things that I got up to this weekend and I hope you are all having an amazing amazing start to your weekend whatever you're doing be sure to wear a mask stay safe and socially distant and yeah so I will see you very soon and thank you so much for watching bye